Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general daily message for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. Uh, to me, I just did Tuesday's uh, daily reading. This is just a continuation, I feel, for whomever was resonating for Tuesday's uh, forecast uh, is for today as well. So let's just get started. We first start off with the major arcana of the devil. So the devil is known for that toxicity, okay? Could definitely be in regards to a third party situation because you also have the three of swords as well, okay? Uh, but regardless, I feel that it's been a mental battle for you, which causes that toxicity, I feel, in regards to a relationship, okay? Something that is going to be changing. If you take notice, which they drew my attention to, they have both cards uh, above and below, both have that orangey, red, fiery kind of feeling, okay? Been through this battle, mental battle, causing that toxicity in your mind, as well as been through just a battle in itself. The weird thing is, is that if you take notice, here's the four of pentacles looking over at this toxicity. It's kind of like somebody regained their strength, regained their balance back from a toxic situation because he has this maniacal grin. It's like, you can't fool me, Mr. Devil. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting. It's kind of like, I'm going to take over my, my power of my life, regain my balance over this toxic situation, okay? Because this is definitely either regarding a third party situation or that it's caused a lot of heartbreak, which also explains this five of swords, that the swords represent that mental anguish as well. So it's been quite heartbreaking in your mind kind of feeling because I feel there was some type of movement with the major arcana of the chariot. Her energy is literally looking over at this. It's kind of like, get in the cart, buddy. Let's have this movement. Let's have this change. Stop battling with yourself kind of feeling. And we're going to have that change. And that change is known for that movement. And I say that is because right after that chariot, you have the eight of cups here. So that eight of cups is that moving away. Somebody walked away from a love situation that caused them a lot of heartbreak with that three of swords that or in a third party situation somebody moved on from a third party situation something that this person here's your second three wow somebody has been waiting for okay for somebody to make some type of decision you have the two of swords diagonal from this so there's definitely been some type of decision that was made that had to be thought of in order to get what they're waiting for, okay? And I feel with that decision to be made, you have the high priestess here. So to me, this card in particular, she always makes me feel like I dream a genie, that TV show back in the day. Uh, yeah, long time ago, where she comes out of that bottle and she feels free. So I feel this freedom, okay? That some type of decision with the Two of Swords energy right underneath that card tells me some type of decision has been made in order to free yourself from that devil energy of that toxic toxic relationship, I feel, which makes sense with the Four of Pentacles almost grinning over at that devil card saying, I got my strength back. I got my balance back after much heartbreak possibly in regards to a, a third party that you've been waiting for, for this to take place uh, with the Three of Wands energy to have a new start in regards to love, okay? So your outcome cards, what I'm feeling is, is basically somebody was in a toxic relationship that really mentally battered them, okay? And that five brings that change. That change is because of that decision that was made. They freed themselves and that somebody walked away from a third party situation as well as walking away from a lot of heartbreak. There is movement coming. That movement is going to bring that balance back into that person's life. And they've been waiting for this decision to be made to have a fresh start in regards to love. Okay. Now, the outcome cards here is the eight of wands. So somebody's, uh, <laughs> they just showed me Fred Flintstone in his little uh, car with the feet going really, really fast. <laughs> I don't know the crazy things they show me, but this is swift movement, swift communication. There's definite movement, getting out of choppy waters in regards to those swords, which is not just stress, which makes sense with that five of swords and the devil, that toxic energy right above it. So they're moving away quickly from this situation at hand, going into smoother waters, and is going to have that queen of swords energy, which is known for that communication. Somebody is basically coming in with a lot of swift movement in regards to getting out of that stress, going towards that communication. You see how that boat is literally going towards that Queen of Swords? That Queen of Swords is known for that communication. So it's gonna happen abruptly, okay? It's going to take 
fast. I mean, for them to, sh to show me Fred Flintstone, <laughs> that's pretty fast. You know, I can see the smoke from the dust from his feet coming out from underneath them kind of feeling. It's going to, with this change, with this freedom, there's a decision for a new start in love. And this person is doing the Fred and is going full steam ahead to communicate how they feel in regards to getting this new start in love. So that is what I have for you guys this uh, for today, Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. I hope it resonates with some of you out there. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do dailies as well as weeklies. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.